Saturday second video for you is firstly we have a new story from Waldia PM Abi has visited an other military base in the Amhara region of Ethiopia he was seen in military uniform a few days ago in Sikota now he is in Waldia secondly we have a new story about Jawar Jawar Muhammad leader of Oromo Federalist Congress Slogans were chanted in support of Jawar in yesterday's protests, yesterday's gatherings by Muslim community. We have some video clips for you. Uh, thirdly, viewers, uh, Ethiopian government claims that Tigray forces are planning a major offensive that new deployments have been made along Amhara and Afar uh, border areas tdf is planning and other phase of this war uh, after that we uh, saw a statement from your state department from geta chorida as well what is happening is uh, tdf planning an attack uh, once again european government uh, said that uh, tigray forces uh, had not withdrawn from afar again geta cho responded to it what is the situation on the ground? Is uh, Tigray really planning an other uh, attack? And lastly, Ethiopian government uh, raised some questions about delivery of aid to Tigray too. Now, Ethiopian government is trying to put pressure upon international community that they should give more money to uh, the government for ensuring sustained delivery of aid to Tigray. Firstly, uh, let's start with a new story from Voldia, uh, North Volo Zone. Uh, PM Abi was seen there in Voldia. He visited uh, uh, a military base there reportedly. He was seen with ENDF soldiers. You can see PM Abi's pictures on your screen. The pictures are from Voldia. PM Abi spent uh, some time with ENDF soldiers in Voldia. He was accompanied by Yilkal Kefale, uh, uh, Amhara region's president. A few days ago, PM Abi was seen in Sikota. There he addressed uh, uh, ENDF uh, soldiers and he uh, met with some locals as well. Uh, there are thousands of IDPs in Sikota. So in around 10 days, around one week, you can say this is PM Abi's second visit uh, to Amhara region. And on both occasions, he has been seen wearing military uniform. When he visited Sikota, he was clad in military uniform today once again he was clad in military uniform is uh, government planning uh, uh, some uh, military offensive or is it making some defensive uh, preparations because we heard from some government officials yesterday that uh, Tigray uh, had deployed a large number of its soldiers uh, to the areas close to Amhara and Afar borders. Yes, uh, it could be a way of uh, morale boosting. This visit could be linked to PM Abi's efforts to mobilize his forces, to keep his forces in high spirits, to keep his forces mobilized. Secondly, viewers, yesterday Muslims protested across Ethiopia in Somali region, in Oromia, in Addis Ababa, in Kambolcha, Muslim community protested against uh, killing of more than 20 Muslims in Gondar on a Tuesday. In Addis Ababa, several uh, gatherings were held, especially a grand iftar program was held in Addis Ababa at a square and uh, Baldiras party last night issued a statement condemning this iftar program. Slogans were chanted uh, at uh, some uh, protests in support of Jawar, Jawar Muhammad, uh, leader of Oromo Federalist Congress, who was released from prison at the start of this year. Since then, he's been uh, largely silent and he uh, departed to perform Umrah a few days ago. 
his support is there in Romia region. People chanted slogans. They said, uh, Javar, we miss you. Javar, the line. We have two video clips for you showing uh, uh, yesterday's protests. People can be heard chanting slogans in support of Javar. Watch two clips, then the next news story. Lastly, it was a very important news story. Ethiopian government officials spoke a few hours ago. They have leveled some allegations. They have made some claims. They say that Tigray forces are going to attack uh, neighboring regions. Uh, preparations are there. Dina Mufti held bi weekly a press briefing of uh, foreign ministry. He spoke. Lagay Setolo, uh, communication minister, also spoke. What did uh, Ethiopian government officials say? Ethiopian government officials said that on the 24th of March, truce was announced, humanitarian truce. And since then, the government has been trying to uh, increase the number of flights, humanitarian flights to Tigray. And aid convoys uh, have also been sent to Tigray. Dina Mufti said 146 convoys, including nine fuel tankers, had been sent to Tigray after the start of truce. I think these are 146 trucks, not convoys. He made a mistake. Uh, and uh, secondly, he said that uh, Tigray government announced to withdraw its forces from afar. And international media echoed this claim of... Uh, Tigray government without verification from the ground. Ethiopian government says that uh, from three places uh, Tigray forces have withdrawn. Uh, the places are Rabati, Birhale and uh, Abala. Not completely. Government says that uh, Tigray forces withdrew from some places of uh, Rabati, Birhale and Abala but uh, Tigray forces are still in control of some areas close to Abala. Abala corridor, which is used for delivery of aid to Tigray through afar, it's not free, so far free of the presence of Tigray force. Tigray forces are still there in the vicinity of Abala on a far side, according to Ethiopian government statement. And secondly, uh, government says that uh, New deployments have been made by Tigray government in areas adjacent to Amhara and Afar regions. That is very important. Now, Ethiopian government is claiming that uh, Tigray is sending more troops to the border areas of Amhara and Afar. Why? Government says that uh, TDF is uh, planning another war on these regions. And lastly, a Tigray uh, aid delivery to Tigray was discussed by the government officials. Government officials say that uh, sustained increased supplies to Tigray rely on increased support from international community. International community should give more aid to Ethiopia to ensure that uh, delivery of aid to Tigray is continuous and sustained. That's very important because we know that uh, aid agencies never complained that there was shortage of aid material. Did they say? Did you hear any statement from World Food Program, from uh, US Aid, from other partners that uh, they did not have uh, enough supplies to send to Tigray? They always said that uh, there was a uh, security issue. Uh, and uh, uh, the convoys were not being cleared. They never said that they were facing uh, shortage of supplies. 
but government saying that international community should contribute more so what i have understood uh, uh, reading government statement listening to government official statements it means that ethiopian government wants to uh, receive funds it wants to receive more assistance uh, from the us from other countries and government seems to be saying that uh, a to tigray will only increase if you provide uh, more assistance to ethiopia financial assistance humanitarian assistance so ethiopian government i think is going to use this issue of aid delivery to tigray to uh, demand more financial assistance from abroad it's very alarming words because uh, we uh, have not heard anything from aid agencies about shortage of supplies they say they have everything but uh, problem is that uh, road is not safe and clearance is not being provided uh, lastly international community is being urged by ethiopian government that it should pressurize uh, tigray to withdraw all its forces from amhara and afar regions what happened after this uh, claim of ethiopian government after that us state department spoke and gatha choreda spoke as well but us state department released a statement uh, it uh, demanded restoration of basic services in tigray uh, negotiated ceasefire uh, some security arrangements to find a solution to tigray conflict uh, it urged a sustained delivery of aid to tigray as well it commanded pm abi's recent uh, measures like lifting of national emergency like leasing of prisoners like uh, cessation of hostilities and uh, us state department further said that tigray forces had withdrawn from most uh, parts of afar after that uh, gatha cho responded he said that uh, tigray forces uh, had withdrawn from all parts of afar not from most parts of afar so tigray's position is very clear tigray says it has withdrawn all its forces from afar but tdf is not withdrawing from uh, north gondar from uh, vog hemra zones of amhara region uh, what we have learned from the ground tdf is out of afar only some uh, border areas strategic areas like close to bala some high places uh, they are under tdf control but overall main towns abala uh, rabiti birhale uh, these are under afar control we have visually uh, confirmed that afar fighters have been seen in the control of these places overall we can sum up yours that uh, this humanitarian truce is very fragile uh, it has not uh, been reinforced by some uh, confidence building measures so far both sides mistrust each other and uh, uh, military preparations are underway on both sides so truce seems to be crumbling it's too early to say that it has totally collapsed but uh, it seems to be collapsing Uh, aid is not uh, freely flowing into tigray is ethiopian government intends to use this aid issue uh, to demand for more assistance from abroad uh, tigray on the other hand wants a corridor it it wants to open corridor with sudan so uh, overall we can sum up that uh, things which started happening in the right direction are now slowing down a little mistrust is being seen and if situation did not improve we could see start of armed hostilities thank you much